Hey what's up guys welcome to another tutorial of PHP and MySQL series and in today's video I'm going to teach you that how we can fetch data from MySQL database using PHP and display that data to our website to our user. So in the previous video we know that we have learned that how we can insert data and in this video we will learn to fetch data so I will create here a file like show data.php and inside this file I will type here first of all exclamation mark and similarly let me open the Google and from here I will search for like bootstrap w3 school I'm going to use bootstrap so we can easily design I will click on this try it yourself and from here I will copy this complete HTML code and paste that code here let me zoom out a little bit from here I will hide this and I will remove this from here so we have add our bootstrap basically the required things was these two links and these are bootstrap CDNs when you will click on these links inside your head section you will able to use bootstrap classes to design your web page and currently let me open my browser and here instead of insert data I have to type here show data.php so here you can see that it is displaying that my first bootstrap we can change the title from my first bootstrap to like contacts information and here I will type for contacts can be added and removed using this application so you can see that we have changed the title net next what we uh, the required thing is like bootstrap 5 table and from this I will click on this link for of WC school and from here I can click on try it yourself so I can see its code and from here you can see that I can easily copy the code of our HTML table so I just need to copy this code uh, I'm just doing this for time saving and here I we need to paste that code here like this and similarly we don't need container because in the at this point we already have create our container also I will remove this uh, container closing div and now let me refresh my page you can see that we have display our bootstrap table successfully and here I will remove this heading and paragraph we, because we have already type a heading and paragraph at this point and similarly what we need to do we need to remove these remaining records so currently you can see that we just have only three columns what I will do I will simply copy and paste this and I will cut this and paste at this position and here I will type like ID and similarly username the next column would be for email and next column would be for let me see in our database name email and phone number so here I will type like phone number and let me refresh so you can see that we have create four columns and here what I will do I will copy and paste this and here I will type the ID so we have designed a HTML page with bootstrap integration so we can display our database data to our user on our website so here we have to display that data that we stored in the previous video so let me show you how to do that the first thing that you will require is I will copy this database connection from here and I will paste that database connection at this position like this like this and here I will paste that code so we can use this connection variable inside our this page at this position after this table body you have to write some PHP code so what I will do I will type here PHP opening and PHP closing tag and here I will type here uh, SQL variable like SQL or you can type here something else like query let me type here SQL and here I will type double quotes and I will press here semicolon from here again we need to click on this SQL and from here I this time I will click on select and you can see that we just have to copy this SQL code and paste this at this position and from here we have to remove this condition like this so this is just asking for select 
asterisk means all it means select all records from our table that we have created in our database that this, this is the simplest sql query and next we have to do the same thing like run i means we have to run our query my sqli query and here we have to pass two parameters the first parameter is database connection variable and the second parameter would be our sql query after this next we have to type here while and inside this while loop we have to type here row is equal to my sqli patch underscore array and inside this we have to pass our this run variable that contains the data for our run query and similarly i will start this bracket of our while loop at this position and after this table row i will again type a php opening and closing tag and here i will type that closing while bracket and here i will to, uh, type here like while ends here so this is our php code so now let me refresh this so you can see that currently our same data displaying here three times because we know that currently our this table contains three uh, rows so that's why our this while loop is executing three times and each time it is printing the same data because we don't have done anything special at this point so that's why the same data is displaying to our user but now what we want we want to display our this database uh, this original data inside this table so what we need to do first of all here i will type here php opening and closing tag and from here i will copy this row variable uh, you can create any variable that you want and before this i will type here echo and after this i have to type here pref uh, big bracket and semicolon basically each time this row will be an array that will contain information of our one row let me repeat it again each time when your this while loop will be executed this row is a array variable that will contain uh, the information of our, our row it means when the first it means when first time our loop will be executed this data will be stored as an array inside this and second time our this data will be stored inside this row array variable and so on so first time i will just have to type here id and semicolon and similarly let me copy this paste here also paste here and paste here as well and similarly we know that this our second column name is name so i will type here like name the third column name is email so i will type here email and the fourth column name is phone number so i will type here like phone underscore number so make sure your column name uh, should be exact that you have to type here if you will do a mistake php will generate an error so now let me refresh this so you can see that friends the same data that is in our database is shown to a table on site inside our website and what we can do here we can type here like at this position we can create a button here or a, a tag here its class would be a btn btn success uh, this is a bootstrap class to style our button and here i will type like insert or add data and what i will do here here i will type the file name of our insert data form so here i will type like insert hyphen data dot php now let me refresh this you can see a button here also let me type here empty hyphen four means margin top and also i need to type here ml3 uh, to add margin left okay let me remain this as it is because our purpose is not for styling so when i will refresh here sorry we have to type here index.php we know that our form exists on index.php so that's why i will type here at this position in the show data file inside this a tag i will type here index.php so now when i will be refresh this and now when i will click on this add it will display me that specific form and one thing more is you can see that when i insert some data like shahzeb or info at the rate of shahzeb.com and a dummy phone number and when i insert you can see that it is moving to insert hyphen data dot php but what i want i want to move the user 
to exactly of my show data page how you will achieve that you just have to write one line of code inside your this insert hyphen data dot php when your operation will become successful you don't have to display message to your user you you will simply type here header which is a php function double quotes type here location with l letter will be capital colon and your file name which is show data dot php and similarly just press here semicolon so now when i will refresh or let me back and refresh this and here i will insert some another data like hassan info at the rate of hassan.com and similarly a dummy phone number and now let me show you when i will click on the submit button you can see that uh, it is opening the show data.php file here you can see that the same record that we were inserted before these records are also displaying inside our website so friends this was the technique that how to retrieve data from mysql using php and in the next video i will teach you that if you want to update a data here you can see that we have make a mistake uh, we have insert some empty data here if you want to delete a specific row or if you want to edit something how we will achieve that so stay tuned and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching